Grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. And also with you. The COVID pandemic, which has so changed the way we mourn the loss and celebrate the lives of our loved ones, prompted thoughts of an online memorial service. We asked on our parish websites if people would like to have someone remembered in this way. We hope that this service will be a comfort and a support to all who mourn. We come together in the name of Jesus Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father. We look not to things that are seen, but to things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Today we remember before God those whom we loved, to give thanks for their lives and to comfort one another. We praise your name for all who have finished their life, loving and trusting you, for the example of their lives, the life and grace you gave them, and the peace in which they rest. We praise you today for all that you did through them. Meet us in our sadness and fill our hearts with praise and thanksgiving for the sake of our risen Lord, Jesus Christ. Weeping, Weeping may endure, endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. 
Strengthen the weary hands. Make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong. Fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Weeping may, may endure, endure for a night, night but, but joy, joy cometh, cometh in, in the, the morning. morning. Jesus said, I am with you always to the end of the age. Weeping may, may endure, endure for a night, night but, joy but joy cometh, cometh in, in the, the morning. morning. The first reading is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The psalm is number 139, and you'll find it on page 754. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea. Even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will, come over, will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Glory, Glory be to the Father, Father and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and, and ever, ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, in the 14th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going? Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know me, him and have seen him. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Grant, Lord, that I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. People from across the rural deanery of Craigan and Louth have come together to remember relatives, friends, and neighbours who have died recently. Since we cannot assemble in any of our churches, we come together online. The loss of a loved one is always painful. Their sadness. We are sad because of our own loss of a relation or a friend. The unexpected sudden passing of one apparently in good health is especially painful. There are so many unfulfilled dreams. The bereaved need to be supported. And in normal times, there would have been visits from clergy, many friends and neighbours. Churches would be full for funerals. Phone calls and messages on other devices are a poor substitute for the hug or the handshake. As always, we turn to the Bible for comfort, so we need not be concerned for the deceased. Our first reading was written by St. Paul in the first Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning at verse 13. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. The second reading from the Gospel according to St. John in chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? Hindu people refer to the death as but the quenching of a lamp, because daylight has come. The light that our people see in the, is the light of the risen Christ. The many dwelling places in that quotation prompts us to believe that there is plenty of room in his kingdom. This is a quotation that will bring comfort to many who worry about what Jesus meant when he declared, no one comes to the Father but through me. Following Jesus means placing our dependence on his promises and following his commandments to love, love God, love our neighbour. All who love are reflecting the divine, for as St John wrote, God is love. Thankfully, in the service today, we are not calling to mind the deaths of young children or parents mourning children on, the special, on this special day for parents. I refer to Mothering Sunday. And a reading regularly used on this day is John 19, 25 to 27, in which the story tells of the three Marys, Mary, the wife of Clopas, Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. They were standing beside the cross. Jesus, in his agony, was able to think of his mother and to provide for her giving us the example of caring for people who are suffering loss. He said to Mary, here is your son. And to a disciple standing there, he said, here is your mother. And the disciple, understanding his message, took her into his own home. That care for those who are in sorrow has to be our task, especially in these difficult days. And so we pray. Help us, O God, to trust you not only for ourselves, but also for those whom we love now parted from us. As we believe your power to have raised our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, so we may trust your love to give eternal life to all who believe in him. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We say together the canticle Te Deum. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the, the eternal, eternal Son of, of the Father. Father. When, when you, you took, took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death 
and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for your servants, whom we now name before you, Ruby, Elaine, Robin, Valerie, Jim, Ethel, George, Martha, Mary, Joy, Tilly, Derek, Clem, Muriel, Victor. We praise you as we, re as we recollect their lives and cherish their memories. We bless you that in bearing your image, they have brought light to our lives, for we have seen in their friendship reflections of your compassion, in their integrity, demonstrations of your goodness, in their faithfulness, glimpses of your eternal love. Grant to each of us the grace to follow their good examples so that with them we may come to your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, who died and rose again and opened the gate of glory, to whom be praise for all eternity. Amen. Amen. of the knowledge of his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. 
as we acknowledge our human frailty, we call to mind our sins of word, deed and omission and confess them before God our Father. Father eternal, giver, giver of, of light and, and grace, we have, have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, Lord of life, you have made us in your own image to reflect your truth and light. We give you thanks for all whose memories we treasure today, for their lives, for the love we shared with them, for the joy we had in their presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Your mighty power brings good out of evil, joy out of grief, and life out of death. Look in mercy on all who mourn. Give them patient faith in times of darkness and strengthen them with the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we praise you for the blessings brought to us through your church. We bless you for the grace of the sacraments, for our fellowship with Christ and with one another, for the teaching of the scriptures and for the preaching of your word. We thank you for the holy example of your saints, for your faithful servants departed this life, and for the memory and example of all that has been good and true in their lives. Number us with them, we pray you, in the company of the redeemed in heaven. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church, living and departed, in the Lord Jesus Christ, to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of his eternal kingdom. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, in your great love, you crafted us by your hand and breathed life into us by your spirit. Although we became a rebellious people, you did not abandon us to our sin. In your tender mercy, you sent your Son to restore in us your image. In obedience to your will, he gave up his life for us, bearing in his body our sins upon the cross. By your mighty power, you raised him from the grave and exalted him to the throne of glory, rejoicing in his victory and trusting in your promise to make alive all who turn to Christ. We commend all those whom we love to your mercy, and we join with all your faithful people and the whole company of heaven in the one unending song of praise, glory and wisdom and honour be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. The peace of the risen Christ be with you all. 
Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Grant to us, Lord God, to trust you not for ourselves alone, but also for those whom we love and who are hidden from us by the shadow of death, that as we believe your power to have raised the Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, so may we trust your love to give eternal life to all who believe in him. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead the Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.